Stay tuned to learn how to make a hologram of yourself in PowerPoint. It's always exciting to think about what is that next big thing around the corner that can disrupt the way that we live our lives and especially how we communicate and deliver presentations. And although what looks like hologram technology has been used in high-profile performances in the past, such as Tupac's from a few years ago, I'm personally waiting for a consumer version of the technology to be widely available to the public. While we're still some time away from consumer holograms, one thing that's really popular right now is sort of close. That is this hologram pyramid trick, which I think is super, super cool. If you search the word hologram on YouTube, there are a lot of videos that feature this trick. Most of them show this upside down pyramid that projects what's on the screen vertically into the pyramid, making it look like a hologram. It's actually not a real hologram, but a reflection trick, though it still looks very cool and gives you that small little taste of the future. These things are just mesmerizing. I could stare at them forever. But right now, let's go ahead and see how to do this. To do this trick, you'll need the following. First, you'll need a screen that you can lie flat on your table. This can be a phone, a tablet, a computer screen, which is what I used, or some people have even flipped over their TVs on the back to get some pretty giant projections. And of course, the larger the screen, the bigger the effect. So I'd recommend going as large as possible. Next, you'll need a transparent pyramid. There are a ton of tutorials on YouTube for how to make this yourself, super cheap out of a CD case and some tape. So I'll link to that in the description. I'll also link to where you can find it on Amazon, which is where I got mine because I was too lazy to make it myself. Just make sure you get or make it in the size that fits the screen that you're working with. And finally, you'll need a video to project. And pretty much all of these videos are four panel videos, which you can see from all four sides of the pyramid, which makes it extra interesting. There are lots of pre-made four panel videos on YouTube, like the ones I just showed you. And I'll link to an example or two in the description. However, what's most fun is to make your own video and especially one of yourself, which I'm calling a hologram selfie and we'll be showing you today. So here we go. For this hologram selfie, you'll need two major things. First, a dark turtleneck, and then a dark sheet or background of some kind. You can hang the sheet behind you, or you can even sit under it, which is what I did, since I didn't feel like hanging it. Then just get a light, either pointing toward your face or away from your face for a more natural look, and play around with the light until you like it. You definitely don't want to have that scary flashlight face going on, unless of course it's Halloween maybe, and that's the look you're going for, which could be cool as well. Then go ahead and get filming. And by the way, I just use my iPhone to film, so you don't really need very fancy equipment. And once you're done filming, you should have something like this. Not perfectly black, but very close, and we can definitely work with it. So once we have our video inserted, the first thing we need to do is just crop around the face so, we don't, so that we don't have any of that extra video space to work with. So let's select this right here and then go to format and then crop and just crop around that. Great. Now what this also does is it shows us the edge of the video 
And this is what we're going to have to blend in with the black of the background. So we do this by changing the brightness and contrast settings. So select this again. Then go to Format and then Corrections. And then go all the way down here to Video Corrections Options. And then we play around with the brightness and contrast until this part turns completely black. We can even zoom in here so that we can see better. Okay. For brightness, I'm actually going to make it a little bit less bright. So make it negative 5%, for example. And of course, this is going to vary for your video. So just play around with it. So negative 5 for brightness. And then contrast, let's make that around 20%. I usually find that 20% seems to work well for, for my lighting. Okay, let's click out of that and looks like we have a perfect edge here, which is great. So now we can move to the next step. So let's zoom out and then now we divide the space into four triangles. So we can make four different copies of the video, just like you saw in the examples. So to do this, we'll first need a guide to make sure that we're putting the videos in the right spot. So we go to insert and go to shapes and then under equation shapes, click on the multiply sign or the X here and go ahead and draw that in nice and big. And now let's just kind of put it in the middle of the slide and then just go here and make sure that it's square. So we'll just need to even this out. Let's put make this 10 and bring this up to 10 as well. Now we know that this is perfectly square. Next, we need to make it a little bit skinnier by taking this yellow dot right here and then just shifting it so that this becomes much skinnier, just like that. And then finally we go to align and then we go center and then align again and then middle. That way we have, we have the, the space divided into four separate panels that we can work with. Let's just send this X shape to the back and now we can place this video in the first panel. And it's okay that it's touching the X over here. We're actually gonna delete the X very soon, so we're just using it as a guide. And by the way, whatever you want to be on the bottom, in this case, I want my chin to be facing the bottom of the screen, we put that toward the pointy shape of the pyramid. If I put it like this, my face is going to be upside down. So make sure that this top one is the way that you want it to look. Next, we're going to make three different copies of this. And we're going to put it with the same orientation in relation to this corner. So select it and then hit Control D to duplicate. And we move it to this panel. And now we flip it over so that the chin is facing inward. You can also use the rotation settings to make this exact, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it right now because I don't really need it 100% perfect. And now let's do it again, Control D, and we do it for this side too. Do it again. And there you go. Again, it's not perfect alignment, but it will definitely work in the pyramid. And this X has helped us out a lot, so now we can actually go ahead and delete it. So now we just need to sync up all of the videos so that they can start at the same time. To do this, we first select all of these by holding down the Shift key and selecting the top and the bottom ones. And then we just click and drag up to remove the triggers and then go to the animation pane. Say start with previous and then play. And you are basically done, but I wouldn't just leave it here exactly. First, I would consider, do you need some animations to go with the video? For example, for my introduction video, I had the face, the face come in with a zoom entrance effect. So what you could do is you could make them all 
come in with the zoom entrance then saying add animation and then zoom and then drag all of these down have this one start after previous and then have this one start with previous so now they'll basically zoom in Okay, well that was kind of cool. The sound was a little off because PowerPoint can't really work with four videos at the same time and have the sound sync 100% perfectly. But what you can do actually is to export this to video and then it will be much better synced. And then when you export it to video and you use this with the pyramid, you'll just get a slightly smaller version of the head than the one that you saw in the beginning of the video. Now here's a tip that I haven't heard anybody talk about yet in any of the tutorials I've seen. This four panel video is great if you're actually gonna be using this with an audience or with a group of people that will be looking at it from all sides. However, if you have a situation where there's only one side that's going to be seen, I personally like to maximize the size of the video so that the audience can get the largest possible image that they can. And that's what I did for the intro to this video. What I did there is I actually took out three of these videos and then I made this last head much larger. So something like that. And the way that you can test if this is going to be too large, actually, is you can bring in a similar X to what we used before, and you can actually drag this down so that it touches the bottom kind of like this, and then you can just make sure that the head doesn't go you know, too far down this way. So essentially you put it something like this, and that should work. This is basically the exact thing that I used for the intro video, so that's why my head was pretty large there. So of course we can remove this X now, and then export this to video by going to File, then Export, Create Video, and then Presentation Quality, and then Create Video in order to create the hologram selfie. And this is what you're gonna end up with. Stay tuned to learn how to make a hologram of yourself in PowerPoint. Now, before we wrap up, let me show you one last trick with this. If you wanna look really creepy or like an alien or something, you can actually change the color of your face to be a little bit more interesting. So to do that, we select the face and then we go to format, then color. And let's say I wanna make myself green. So I go here. And now of course I have to play around with the brightness and contrast settings again to make this a black color. So let me just do less brightness and then more contrast. And there you go. I'm, I look like some kind of witch now, or maybe an alien. But it does look a little bit more interesting than just my regular face. Maybe I should have used this for, for the intro, but I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna scare anyone away from, from watching it. And that's basically it. So go out and try this for yourself. I highly recommend playing around with this trick. In addition to the selfie hologram example, you can also do this with any other video, picture, or even text too. Sort of like the examples I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. Just make sure you have a black or very dark background for best results. Now, of course, this looks very cool, but how could you actually use it in your presentations? Well, if you use a computer or tablet version of this trick, it might be fun to integrate into a smaller scale presentation. Let's say you're teaching a class on birds or sea creatures of some kind, for example. Why not play something like this at a key moment in your presentation? You can even walk around with it through the audience so that they can see it better. Just make sure to hold it above their eye level for best results. 
As another example, maybe you're at a poster session or a trade show and you have a booth there. Why not have some version of this trick playing? So maybe a product demo, a, <laughs> a hologram selfie of the CEO talking about your company, or even a static photograph or logo projecting at your table to attract people to your station. Being spicy is all about standing out from others, and this should be cool and different enough to do so. So hopefully this has given you some inspiration. Hit me up in the comments if you can think of other cool uses for this trick or any other emerging presentation technology that you think might be worth featuring in a future video. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And here are a couple of my other effects that would also work well with this pyramid. Please subscribe, like, and comment for more videos like this and see you for my next one.